The word belief is actually approving anything, the existence of it within your heart. No matter whether that thing is right or wrong, but when you approve it in your heart, that is your belief about it. And testifying it with the speech, what you have just approved in your heart about any concept. This is the general definition of belief. Approving anything in your heart and testifying that with your speech about what you have approved in your heart, about any reality, any concept that has been presented in front of you. But when it comes to believing in something that is above natural, that is supernatural, that is metaphysical existence like God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal, then we need to understand that the creator has made this universe with a purpose, a plan, it's a test. And when the test is attached with the belief, then the belief is completed with acts. Which proves the approval of the heart and testification of the speech. On general basis, about, about general things, you can say that your belief is established or it might be complete if you just approve it and you testify it. But when it comes to believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or it, when it comes to believing in God, a khalik, razik, creator, then you have to attach the word acts, amal, with the approval and testification of the heart that is tasdik bil qalb and iqrar bil lisan. You have to add act with it with your limbs which proves what you have just approved and testified the sovereignty, the majesty, the kingship, the rulership, the highness of a God, of a creator, of a khalik, of a razik by submitting to his highness with acts. This submission completes the definition of belief. Otherwise, there would be different, different categories of errors in your belief if the act is not perfected out with submission, worship and obedience.